this video sums up everything that the internet has been talking about and I want to say something about this. Logan Paul's been getting some heat because he proposed to his girlfriend, Nina Agdal, and apparently all these photos surfaced of her dating a lot of other successful men in the past. Leonardo DiCaprio, Joe Jonas, Adam Levine, bunch of rappers, basketball players, old wealthy men. So, Nina Agdal is Logan Paul's new fiance. People didn't seem like they had a problem with it. Instead, they were focusing more on the Logan Paul's coming kids shenanigans. But after Logan proposed here, the comments and the videos I see on the internet are wide. People call Logan worst, and Nina one of the worst choices she has ever made. Because, well, she has had a history of dating wealthy, famous men in the past, as you saw in the video as well. So, what does that mean? Basically, people are now making the hypothesis that she simply sucks money out of them as a leech and she can't be trusted. And also that if no one of those men wanted to keep a relationship with her, she might be of low value. To start with, yes, a woman having a zillion of men in her romantic life before ending up with you, my guy, is a pretty big red flag. You should always pay attention to. Having so many romantic partners as a woman means that your values are not set right, your morals also, and most probably you are pretty impassive, always driven by your immature will and not your cognitive self. In simpler words, you don't think you just act based on what you want and that means that you are not at the level a healthy other should be. But does that mean that you can't change or you are a moving trash can as people on the internet make the case to be? No. Everyone can change and everyone has the right to be treated with respect no matter what they have done in the past. The photos of Nina dating other famous men surfaced on the internet as Dylan Dennis, who is Logan's opponent in an upcoming boxing event, started posting them with malicious intent to make fun of Logan. First of all, making fun of a woman for her past romantic life is against any norm of chivalry that we should never forget as men. And this completely moral, so in this instance, I will be more angry at Dylan for the way he's treating her than I would be an don't know everything, maybe they have this absolutely amazing relationship together. But the very concerning thing is, she has this long history of jumping from one successful man to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and like, what's the reason that that's gonna stop with Logan? Don't get me wrong, I agree with what this guy is trying to say, but I find the reason for her to stop with Logan, because she had never been engaged with any of those successful men before. And now, years after her last public affair, she made a step forward with him, that they are to be married, and that is good news for any human being. I understand that there are chances of Logan falling in love with her and not understanding the dangers a possible breakup will have in the future, but since he has already chosen her, we can and we should not bring this up anymore. I want to make something clear at this point though. I personally would never date a person with a history of Nina like that, let alone get engaged with her, no matter how gorgeous she is. Although, there is no chance she would date me as well, so let's move on to that. Having a myriad of past lovers, and most of them being publicized as well, doesn't show good signs. That is for certain. But since Logan has taken those under consideration, and since he wants to move on, he knows more than that us. That all being said, I wish him the best, but this seems like a case of a man who doesn't really understand his full value in the dating market and is settling for a less than ideal situation. I do not believe that Logan doesn't know his value in the dating market. He's clearly a narcissist. He won't settle for anything less than what he thinks is the best. And at the moment, he clearly believes Nina is the one. With what we know about her, it's easy to say that his decision is not correct. But we all need to remember that he knows her, and we don't. It's of no value to try to demoralize him for his decision. It's absolutely stunning and perfect. How much did it cost? I'm Over. not gonna say. No, you can say six digits. This video seems really bad. And yes, she didn't need to mention the price. It looked like LaFlex. But take also the consideration that Logan took this clip and made it into a short with millions of views. He clearly doesn't have a problem with this. It may also have been a stunt to make the podcast more entertaining. No matter how things seem to be, in those events we need to criticize less people who are trying to share together happy moments. Because it's the same that Logan tries to share a happy moment of his life and everyone tries to warn him in the comment section. It must suck. And I feel bad even for Logan, who's a scumbag. I wish him the best as everyone, and I mean everyone deserves happiness, and hope Nina has changed. I mean peanut inside of me, ASAP. All I want is like a big fat sausage destroying my body. If any of you guys know a good dick.
I'll take it. Because it has not.